Hi guys, it's Rick Shields, and as we come to the end of 2015, I thought it'd be a good chance to talk about the golf clubs that have been out this year. And this is kind of mid-handicap section now. So I've had my mid-handicap expert, Mr. Rob Potter, who's done loads of reviews for me this year, and believe me, going into 2016, we'll be doing even more. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. Um, and I've asked him what has been his favourite irons of 2015 and what he's tested on my channel. And he came back with a list. So he said, first off, the Callaway XR irons. Now these are no in particular order. These are just the clubs that he's mentioned to me. I think he's a little bit of a Callaway fanboy, if I'm dead honest with you, but he says these are the best. Uh, these are the ones that he's using in his set at the moment. I, I managed to treat him to a set of XR irons. Here's a little clip of him using them back, uh, probably back middle of summer this year. What a shot. What a shot. Lovely flight. The flights are nice. Isn't it this. nice? It is. It's still going 140 carry. 140 carry. Interesting. Let's go again. So it's a, it's a good, good carry still. Okay, so the next iron that Rob picked as well was the Ping G Max. So, a bit of a shock pick I felt there with for Rob. But the Ping G Max with the massive big head, the blade, the kind of supercharged G30 iron. Um, it, it's a great golf club and it performs. I've put it in the category of the most forgiving as well. And Rob is looking for forgiveness and distance in this category. And he definitely said that was one of the ones that he would have picked. We reviewed that and tested it on my channel back in our August time. Here's a little clip of it, and hopefully, uh, if you're looking for an iron that's forgiving a long mid handicap range, these are the definite ones that you should be looking at. That's more like it. Oh, you little ripper. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's disgraceful. That was a great nice. carry. 154 carry. I'm back. Dobby's back. Okay, so the next golf club that Rob talked about was the tailor-made RSI 1s and 2s. Now, he's put both in this category. He tested them both, and he liked them both. They seem to perform very well for him. The RSI 1s did travel further because a little bit of difference in the loft and the size of the head. But he's put them in these categories because he found these the best that he hit this year. Uh, I think a lot of it is down to the looks of the irons as well, and which I would agree with. Here's a little clip of him testing both the RSI 1 and the RSI 2 in 2015 yeah yeah i like this it's it feels really really nice off the face but there's still feel off it you, you still you still know you're hitting a golf ball which is which is a good thing oh, oh <laughs> that flight's just different different what? class now yes. i don't know if you caught this rob i at the start of the year i put these as my top 10 so you did. Number one. You did. At the top ten. And there was research behind that. That wasn't just a decision I made off, off heart. Because everyone that's hit these have hit them better. Rob, stop hitting them so well. We want to see miss hits happen. I thought they're supposed oh, to happen. This, this, Look this, at those four or five shots you've just hit. They've, they've just a, a tiny little bit of a push. Bit bit push. But hey, that's nothing wrong with that. One three eight carry. Might have so Rob's also thrown in another golf club here. Now, this is he's saying that this is not in his top three. I asked him for three, but he said, can I put one more in it? And he's talked about the Ben Ross irons. Now, the Ben Ross irons were tested on my channel uh, in 2015. I tested them, Rob tested them. I loved them. I thought they performed really well. So did Rob. And he's put them in his category of being his favourite irons this year. Now, there's different ones. The, the RIP uh, Speed RIP15, I believe they're called, and also I think I cut him one with a, like a, a, a RIP Gold as well with a bit of a senior shaft in. But he hit him well. Here's a little clip of them, and uh, he seemed to he seemed to really enjoy him. Nailed it. That is nailed. That is all over the flag. Nice shot. Sweet. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Right. Let's have a look at some figures. So I'll it throw goes. up the. Um, the flights first. We've got red was the rip, white was the hot, and orangey gold is the gold. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed that video on kind of Rob Potter, who is a 13 handicapper's perspective of what golf clubs he enjoyed testing the most in 2015. If you are in that range, it's definitely worth looking at those reviews in full. If you've enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. I've got Rob also to give me the rundown of his best drivers in 2015. That video is coming out very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.